Boston Tea Party is one of the sparks that helped ignite the powder keg of the American Revolution. But have you ever heard of the burning of the Gatsby? It happened one year earlier, and was perhaps even more influential than the famous Tea Party. The British Navigation Acts allowed customs inspectors to board any colonial ship. That was a problem in Rhode Island, known for its merchants and its smugglers. William Duddingston, commander of the Royal Navy schooner Gatsby, arrived in Rhode Island in February 1772. He immediately proceeded to aggressively search any vessel he saw fit, and he sent seized contraband to Boston for inspection, a violation of Rhode Island law. His actions created widespread resentment among Rhode Island merchants, especially those connected to the Sons of Liberty, a secret network of U.S. rebels set up to fight British taxation. Tensions came to a head on June 9, 1772, when the Gatsby was giving chase to a local packet boat, the Hannah, and the Gatsby ran aground. Its crew could do nothing but wait for the next high tide. As night fell, a band of local Sons of Liberty rode out to the Gatsby. The schooner's crew put up a brief fight, ending with Duddingston being shot. After removing everyone aboard, the raiders then set fire to the Gatsby. The incident caused outrage in the British Parliament, which demanded that the perpetrators be tried for treason. Parliament set up a royal commission to investigate the incident, but no Rhode Islanders would talk. In the end, the only person tried in connection with the Gatsby affair was the injured William Duddingston himself, who was sent back to London and court-martialed. So was that musket shot the first of the revolution? In some ways, it was. In the months that followed, Committees of correspondence were set up across the colonies. They helped patriots to share news and mobilize resistance to the British policies. These underground networks strengthened and grew, culminating in the First Continental Congress assembling in 1774. That solidarity and organization was a direct result of a revenge attack on a very unpopular customs ship in Rhode Island, 